Hi guys, I'm Stuart, he's Alan, together we are Outdoor Basics and today we're going to be talking about the Condor Pterosaurus. A big shout out to Jason at RJ Bushcraft, thanks very much for giving us a shout and letting us know that you had this in, service as, all, as always was awesome. And uh, Alec, my mate Alec for actually telling us about this, Alec Mayer, uh, I think we were talking about it the day before, um, he says it's going to be a good alternative to the... Mora Garberg. So yeah, stay with us and we'll just give it an initial review. Cool. Hi guys, first thing I'm going to talk about is the sheaf and for anybody that's kind of I've already added some fire cord to it, some inner tube and just a lighter. Um, I always like to try and get as close to the kind of 5Cs as I can. Um, for anybody that's used any of the Mora sort of setups, I think this is quite reminiscent of there is that they're multi mount. Um, just a kind of slip over part here and then a, a nice simple sheath. It's got kind of like decent uh, bumps inside it. And the retention seems to be really, really good. So put that back there. Um, and it, it doesn't feel flimsy or like it's going to go at all. So the only sort of maybe weak point I could see would be the belt loop. But like I think you need to give it something to break it. I'm just not sure about the the rivets maybe, but I think you need to give it something to break it. So yeah. And the price range, I think it's like fifty something quid, about fifty quid. Um, so it's half the price. Well, more than half the price of the, the Mora Garberg. So, yeah, sheaf initially feels pretty good, but time will tell us. I'm, I'm going to use it for the next few weeks and kind of like use and abuse it and see if I can kind of damage this belt loop or what I could do to it. Not deliberately, but I'm just going to use it in general use and see how it goes. Um, the blade itself we've been kind of using this morning, when you initially get it, it's got a kind of, it's kind of like a duty oil coating on it. Um, it's a 1095 uh, steel. And the handle is made of a kind of, I think the quote is a kind of indestructible polymer resin. Um, so yeah, feels pretty good in the hand. Um, not too, not too, too much if you know what I mean. Feels quite ergonomic I suppose what the word would be. I'm slightly concerned maybe with the feeling that it would roll or twist in my hand. But I'll see how that goes. So yeah, the knife itself, 1095 steel, a polymer handle. It's a full tang knife, it's got an exposed pommel at the end which I'm really 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 happy about, I like that. Um, Scandi grind and a sort of kind of drop point, a wee bit of a drop point at the front there. Um, it feels like it's got a 90 degree spine but I'll give that a go with throwing some sparks with it and maybe shaving some fatwood down with it as we go along. So yeah, that's the knife. Okay guys, so I'll do some battening. I don't like battening big bits of wood with knives, I, I just don't see the point. Um, I'll process it down with an axe and a saw and then just use my knife. Um, but with this, this should be fine. Absolutely no bother at all. It's doing everything you'd ask it, you know what I mean? Like, it's comfy in a hand, it's... It's definitely... It's definitely performing there, so... Actually, 
quite enjoying using it to be honest. Balanced in the hand, and like I say, if you did have to batten something kind of bigger with it, if it got stuck, you know, you've got this pommel that you could use it to move it about, and I'm not really a big fan of a battening massive bits of wood with a knife. Let's get my ferro rod out. Usually I just use a striker in my ferro rod, but we'll see if it strikes this ferro rod. Ah, easy. Throw sparks for days down the spine. Just to save that edge. I think I got this for Jason yesterday, specifically for this. No bother at all. So yeah, kind of gets kind of finer shavings, battens down well, good sharp spine for throwing sparks or shaving fatwood. Easy. For what it is, right? For, for, being in the, for being in the field of competing with the Mora Garberg effectively being a kind of cheaper but effective full tang knife with a Scandi grind and a kind of plastic sort of composition sheath it's definitely worth the money like um, I've not really used the Garberg so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get Alec I'll, I'll get a hod at Alec over the next wee bit and uh, I'll maybe have a shot of his Garberg and he can have a shot of this and we'll compare, we'll maybe do a wee, a wee head to head comparison sort of thing. Um, but initial sort of review, it does everything you want it to. Throw sparks, scrapes fatwood, um, I, can, I can feather stick with it, I can batten with it. As far as any sort of, I've just got some general cordage here, I've not really got any pack. Have I got any 550 cord in there? Yes I have, I'll just leave that there. So after the wee bit of work that we've done, how does it cut this paracord? Just some general 550 cordage. Easy. So yeah, I hate cutting paracord. I'm having a panic attack doing this, but it's for you guys. Try it at the tip. Ah, easy. So. It still feels like it's held its edge. Aye, still hair popping. So yeah. Condor Pterosaurus. Initial review, it's definitely worth your money. Um, for about the 50 quid price range, I don't think you'd go far wrong. For a full tang, high carbon knife, for a fairly solid company in Condor, good sheath. Yeah, feeling pretty good. So... I'm going to use it for the next wee bit and we'll maybe do a comparison with uh, Mora Garberg. So if you like what we're doing, please don't forget, could you like, share, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff and give us your feedback on this wee knife, maybe anything you'd like to see us do with it. Um, and as always, he's been Aaron, I've been Stuart, you've been awesome.